last words to Robin before you're married? Last words? <laughs> Is this my funeral or my wedding? <laughs> That's your chance. Uh, what do you got to say to Robin? Uh, this, I don't know. I, I can't wait. You're, she makes you speechless, in other words? Yeah. <laughs> Smart. Smart. You look so beautiful. These dresses are gorgeous. Wow, everyone looks so nice. this lovely lady to be married to this fine man? I do. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome everyone this magnificent place on this wonderful day. Here, where the Sea of Cortez merges into the Pacific Ocean, today we have the enormous pleasure of witnessing the union of Robin and Ryan in marriage. Welcome, friends and family, and rejoice because today, well, today we celebrate a love that has thrived for years. Today we have been invited by Ryan and Robin to the moment in which they announce to the world, we have become one. We are one, we have found love, and our souls, our lives, and our hearts have joined, much like the sea and the ocean here with us. You may sit down, thank you. Before we begin, a brief announcement. Despite several attempts, Bruce and Louis did not make it as ring bearers. 
It just couldn't handle the responsibility. Don't worry. Okay, now that was a little lame attempt to get you to laugh. Now you can do that. Please do. Okay? Can you move a little? Everybody, please. Because I want everyone right now to let go of your intellect, let go of your mind for a little moment and let the heart do the talk. Just be present to Robin and Ryan. Just be here with your loved one. Robin and Ryan asked me to begin this service by thanking each of you for being here. They chose this magnificent place. Look at this beautiful place. This is a perfect physical environment for them to do their beautiful memory. But they also cho chose you to be here because you're the perfect emotional environment for them to do this landmark in their lives. So thank you very much for being with them. It is very important to them. Now let's take just a couple of seconds to remember those who couldn't be here with us, especially Bill Healy. Thank you. Robin, Ryan, when two souls meet and love awakens between them, there is a private universe that comes to be. And sometimes it's of no consequence, but sometimes we find such depth and such harmony that we want this other person to be a permanent part of our world. And when we realize this, well, life fills with light and laughter. And we want to announce to the world that we have become one. And for this, we make a party. And we set a date in which we can remember year after year birth of this beautiful universe full of warm sweet love that is the cause of the happiness that's what we're celebrating here we're celebrating the fact that by the love these two have come together john lennon said all you need is love just yes john the evangelist said god is love and well if i might add reverend Paul means john also and I know of nothing more sacred than love. There's nothing that we humans find more precious, more rewarding, and more important in life. So this is what has brought us together. We're celebrating the love that has thrived between Robin and Ryan. We'll now read The Art of Marriage by Wilfred A. Peterson. It says, a good marriage must be created. In the art of marriage, it is the little things that are the big things. It is that we being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say, I love you at least once each day. It is never going to sleep angry. Having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is forming a circle of love that gathers in the whole family and demonstrating gratitude in thought always. It is having the capacity to forgive and to forget and giving each other the atmosphere in which each can grow. But mostly it is not about marrying the right partner. It's about being the right partner. Therefore, Brian, Robin, I ask you, do you come here of your own and free will to be united as husband and wife? Yes. Excellent. Well, that brings us to the uh, most intimate part of the wedding, which is the vows. And may I remind you, vows are just words. So I beseech everyone here to hear through the words, because you know firsthand the love that is behind the words that they are going to exchange right now. So Ryan, take a deep look into Robin's eyes. And go to your heart. Contact your love for the one that has been growing for years. And say your words. I write a big deal. Be my life. My partner in life. My friend and lover. I'll walk by your side forever. Share your dreams. 
laughter and tears. I will listen to you. I will care for you. Be yours faithfully. Dab into hold. Better or for worse. The richer or for poorer. Your sickness or your love. Love and to cherish. Now and forever. Thank you. Robin, take a deep look into Ryan's eyes and go to that part of your heart that you have reserved for him and for him only. And repeat it. Hi, Robin. Thank you, Ryan. Be my husband, my partner in life, my friend and lover. I will walk by your side. I will share your dreams, laughter and tears. I will listen to you and care for you. Be yours faithfully, to you have and to hold, for better or for worse, for richer or poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, now and forever. Thank you. Replies are no flies. Too. <laughs> so that's it. That's the uh, that's the expression of the internal love. And now we come to the external symbol for which I ask Julie and Mike to come forth and give the rings to the bride and groom. I will thank you very much. Just give them to them and go back. Thank you. I will just say a couple of words about what wedding rings are. They are symbols. A circle with no beginning and no end is a symbol of love eternal. But they're also made of precious jewels and metals, and this is the symbol I really like best, because it's a symbol of a treasure. I spoke of a private universe that you two have between you, and it exists only between you two. And at the very center of it, there is a treasure made of all those beautiful moments that you shared, the laughter that you shared, also the tears that you shared, because they turn into jewels if you, we overcome difficult times. And in the future, you may be blessed with the most important addition in the form of your own children that will increase this treasure immensely. So when you see these rings in your hand, remember, they stand for that. They stand for the love that is binding you. So now, Ryan, as you put the ring in Robin's finger, finger repeat after me. Robin, take this token of my love. Wear it as a reminder. This love that binds us, which is our true treasure. Excellent. Now, Robin, put the plate and ring on Brian's finger and repeat it to me. Ryan, take this token of my love, wear it as a reminder of this treasure that finds us, which is our mutual love. Beautiful, excellent. And now you can show everyone your hands how they look. There's a big camera right there. There you go. That's how you tell the world you are one. You have found love. Finally. Yeah, you know what I mean. Okay. So now, I will say one of the most beautiful things that uh, I've heard about marriage, which is the Apache wedding blessing, which goes like this. Now you will feel no cold for each of one. Each of you will be the warmth of the other. Now you will feel no rain for each of you will be the shelter of the other. Now there's no more loneliness because you are too there is one path ahead of you. Go to the days of your togetherness and may they be filled with love and happiness. Now I will ask you to hold hands again and take a deep breath and close your eyes. And there is no hurry to open them back again. Take another deep breath and take just this moment to take it all in. Take it into your heart. Feel this breathe. Feel the love of the people that surround you and feel the touch of your loved one. Let it flow 
go into your heart. Go to the part of your heart in which this is the love that brought you to me today. And feel that love start growing within your heart and overflowing it to fill your whole body. And then overflow it and make you walk today deeper than yesterday. This is one of those precious jewels. Keep it in your heart. Just one more deep breath. Now very, very slowly. Start opening your eyes to see this person that you love so very much. Don't ever forget this face in front of you is the one that can help you access a treasure. In difficult times ahead, when you need to remember there's laughter for me, there is love for me in this life, this person right in front of you is the one that can help access the treasure. And I assure you, it will keep on growing for every moment that you love each other. Therefore, there's no really more left for me to say that along with the ocean and the wind, along with the family and the love for you and in the name of the love that you have for each other it is my pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife yeah. right you may kiss your bride and who made you what was that okay be, be minus okay again here and everybody please stand up it is also my privilege to present to the world for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Healy.
to let Brian's East Coast family know a little more, maybe some fun facts or even warnings about Robin. Both of them here. First of all, Robin loves old people. Really, the older the better. So that's going to pay off for all of us. Robin will fight every parking ticket she ever gets. And she, whether it's her fault or not, and she will definitely win. She's extremely confident um, in her legal abilities and in arguing, which, so watch out, Ryan. Never gonna win. Reese, come on, Jesus. Robin is very stubborn. I love you, but you know it. 
another level. Okay. <laughs> if you think you're gonna change her mind about anything, you won't. But she's also super determined, and I can't tell you how proud I am of her going back to school and recently passing her final exam to become an OT. Yeah. Yeah. What else? If you're gonna cook for her, she hates cilantro. <laughs> Not because it's trendy to hate, she's always hated it. A few years ago I told her it was trendy and she hasn't let it go ever since. Um, speaking of holding it against me, she can hold a grudge. So if you were to say, steal her bike 30 years ago, drive up to a restaurant, Max and Irma's in Birmingham, Michigan, and leave it there for it never to be seen again, she'll hold a grudge for 30 years. We're, we're still there. Robin will win, or will enter, every costume contest, essay contest, raffle, employee of the month, and she'll always win, mostly because no one else would ever sign up to write an essay about working out to get a free membership, but she takes those odds into consideration, smart. Most importantly, she's very compassionate. Taking care of others has always been a part of her life. She cares for my children as if they were her own, and she has made a career out of her compassion. Sorry. Um, Ryan, I love you so much. I'm so happy you two found each other. Thank you for making my sister happy and for supporting her dreams and making her laugh and telling her she has a good singing voice. Here's to many, many years of happiness and many more family celebrations together. To Robin and Ryan. Check, check. Thank you. Uh, welcome, everyone. I'm really happy to be here and proud of Ryan and Robin for putting all this together. And uh, um, I didn't really prepare too much, but um, I just want to say, Robin, uh, it's been about 10 years now since you've gotten together with Ryan. I still remember the first time you came to the Cape and uh, we went down to Provincetown. We drove down together. That's it. And, um, you know, Ryan and I had a couple of beers on the, uh, the trip. And uh, as usual, Ryan and I can throw a few down. And by the end of the time, the day or the night, we're usually at each other's throats. And uh, I just remember thinking um, Robin just was sitting in the chair, looking at us, just relaxed, low key, and always happy, smiling. It's like, oh, okay, this girl is very California, Colorado. And, uh, you know, she's so sweet and puts up with Ryan, puts up with me. And uh, we're just really happy to have you in the family. And uh, that's about it. Ryan, uh, yeah, I'll leave it at that. How about that? We'll just leave it at that one. We all know Ryan. Every, everybody, Ryan's Ryan. Thank you, guys. This is a, a great week. It was so good to see the families together. And, uh, Hopefully we have a lot more years and times like this when we can get together. It was really nice. Thank you guys. That wasn't a very good uh, welcome. Let's hear it. Come on. Come on. Just kidding. Anyway, um, I'm like you. I didn't prepare anything, but it was intentional because I want to be spontaneous. And I don't want to have something sound not from the heart. So whatever comes out, it's from the heart. It may not be funny, interesting, but it's from the heart. So first of all, Ryan, um, 10 years, really? Wow, that's, that's amazing. Yeah, I remember Ryan when he came to the company. I don't know if anybody knows this, but they worked at our at our company that, uh, believe it or not, we still have. I think it's twenty about twenty one years now or so. So Ryan came in about halfway through, I guess. And I don't know. I took a liking to him from day one, you know. And I I have to say, out of the couple hundred people in the company, there weren't that many people that I really, you know, in a, we got along, but I really took a liking to Ryan. So when they started dating, 
it was, uh, you know, it was great. I thought, and somehow in the back of my mind, I thought, eh, you never know, you know, maybe one day. <laughs> and after year four or five, and I, well, maybe not. But, <laughs> but now, I mean, sure, they're getting married. You know, they got married today. And I'm getting married. I'm so used to saying that. But it's been 10 years. Uh, they've been together 10 years, so this is their 10th anniversary, really, if you think about it, uh, of meeting. Um, you guys are going to be together for ever, okay, and then some. Uh, it's, it's really, really clear to see that. You have so much in common. Uh, every time I talk to anyone who knows you, friends and family, they say the same thing, that you're just so relaxed with each other, with everybody else, and, you know, you're just easy to be with, you know. It's not uncomfortable, not for one second. And knowing some of Ryan's friends, you know, like Kurt over here, people that, you know, he influenced over the years, they're all the same way, you know. And this crew, you know, and this family from Connecticut and whatnot are just, you know, great, great people. Uh, Mike. Other than Mike, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Several people came up to me yesterday, day before, and they said, you know, I gotta tell you something looking at one of the guys. I'm gonna tell you some stories about Mike, you know, some of the things that used to go on between Ryan and Mike. And unfortunately, I don't know any of them, but I'm gonna find out maybe later some of this, the backstory. Uh, I think a lot of stuff went down. But anyway, uh, Ryan, not to go on and on about you, but thanks so much for, you know, coming on board and putting this together. And uh, I just tell, you know, just in terms of something that Ryan did, uh, a couple of years ago that some of you may or may not know about, but I guess it was about two years or two, when we did that Euro, you know, European tour, you know, and I, th I was nervous. I'm thinking, wow, you're going on this tour overseas, you know, doing something you're really, really passionate about and you're really good with and, um, you know, what what's going to happen? You know, are you going to, you know, just to say, to say look, I'm gonna, this is it. This is my life now and I'm gone. Love you, Robin. Love you, everybody, but, you know, I'm going to do this. I'm going to be a professional you know, drummer and go up and find my, you know, my life here all around the world. We know that that's a tremendous, um, you know, uh, you know, dream, you know, that you can accomplish. But it's an extremely difficult thing to do. But he went, you know, and I and I got together with Robin and we had a conversation once. I think it was at lunch or something. And I said, so what do you, you know, like, what do you think? Are you nervous? Are you worried? Are you concerned? Whatever. And she said, you know, you know what? Whatever happens, happens. You know, I want him to be, you know, I love him. I want him to be happy. I want him to do what, you know, what his heart tells him to do. And, um, you know, I'm, she understood that it really was a choice. You know, you can't, she wasn't the type of person to say, you know, do your thing and I'll always be here for you. And, you know, so she basically that if he comes back to me, then that's great. And if he doesn't, then he's gonna be happy and I'm gonna accept that as well. So I thought that was a really, really, um, you know, strong woman who's, you know, a mature person that could say something like that. And that'll show you how little selfishness there is there. You know, uh, the things that Julie said, and you know, it, it's, it's true. She's just a very compassionate person. Um, whether it, it isn't just with elderly people, I mean, with kids, with animals. There was a time when Robin wanted to be, you know, wanted, wanted to take care of animals and be a vet and all this. It, it doesn't matter what she chose. It's just that she's always going to be helping people. She could be working at Walmart. She's going to be helping people. Okay. Um, so, no offense, Paul. I mean, Paul used to work at Walmart. So, uh, so back to Robin here then. Robin, I have a couple stories which I'm not going to tell because they're just they're embarrassing. But if anybody wants to know later, come see me at the at the party, and I'll, I'll clue you in a couple of things, like the bicycle story and things like that. Uh, we won't go into that right now. Um, but one thing I'll say that about the last thing is, you know, in terms of what they do, these two people, they are into sacrifice. Okay, I, I, you know what Ryan, what Ryan did to sacrifice, what what Robin did, you know, because they wanted to get married years ago you know and they had a plan and i think it was maybe primarily ryan's i mean robin's she said i, I want to graduate you know i want to go to school i want to get this you know this thing under my belt i want to uh have a profession and then we'll go on to you know the next thing and that's the way she's always been jimmy she was like straight a student all through school it seemed to come really really easily you know and it seemed to come without any help from anyone and as you know again like what julie said it's just determination 
she, she just set her mind to it, you know, and that was that was it. There was no chance. Even a couple of weeks ago, when she took her test and she said, I, "I'm not going to pass," I'm, you know, this is not going to be this is not going to be good. And she spoke to I think Alex and I were on a conference call with her, and I think you and I said, well, "Do you think you might? Is there any chance at all?" And she said, "Well, it's possible." And then both of us knew immediately. Of course, you passed. Okay. She just, you know, doesn't have that kind of ego, like, hey, no problem, I, I, I aced this thing. She was realistic about it. Anyway, as you know about me, I like to talk. I'm not going to bore you anymore. And I just really want you to put up your glasses, please. And let's give a nice warm toast to this, these two people here and wish them all the best. Thank you. But I did want to say that I really appreciate, we both really appreciate everyone coming to Mexico. I mean, that's asking a lot and we love you guys so much and we hope you are having so much fun this trip. And we wanted to really have like a family reunion, you know, it wasn't all just about the wedding. And so, um, what else did I want to say? But uh, each one of you have made a positive impression on us both and matters so much to both of us. Um, so I hope you know that. Do you have anything you want to say, Ryan? Uh, like I'm, I'm not a man of many words. Uh, I tend to feel more comfortable behind a drum set. Uh, but, you know, just listen. I can't thank you guys enough to him all the way out here. This is incredible. You really touched my heart here and I feel really special to be a part of all these amazing people. With the Stearns and the Healy's. It's this is a great connection that we all have and with my best friends out there and my my family members, it's this is great. I really really happy and can't thank you enough for being out here. Thank you very much. Thank you guys for having us, and we hope that memories continue. We know the memories will continue with all of you.
It's like how mellow the uh, 